We're approaching the point in our excavation where we need to look at bench cutting this soil. OSHA requires that at five feet, we take a shelf and go back three feet. So we're very close to that point, we're gonna cut this in. Now what we're concerned with from a safety standpoint is lensing. Sandy soils tend to lens like the lens on your eye, right, and come out and start shifting. We don't want anybody working in this area where the soil is unstable. We're also very concerned about this root matter that's coming through the face here. We've got to get all that cleaned up and pulled out of here. So our next cut is going to be three foot back at a five foot elevation. I'm on my segmental retaining wall project here. My blocks arrived and normally people want to grab that block and start building wall. We don't want to do that yet. Couple things we got to check. The first is the degree of back cut of this slope. This is a good sandy soil. What I'm shooting for is a 35 degree back cut, which would be one foot up and about a foot and a half back, and I'm good. Now, if this were a clay soil, it'd be 26 degrees of back cut, which would be one foot up, about two, two and a half feet back. But in this case, I'm great. The next thing I need to be concerned with is this bench cut excavation. OSHA requirements, uh, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, requires no more than five feet without a three foot uh, shelf. So here, I'm at five feet, my shelf depth, three feet, I'm OSHA compliant. 